Welcome to Inkscape Lesson 4. We are going to continue our understanding of the Bezier tool by drawing with it today, but we are going to be drawing with the Bezier tool today with greater precision, with much more intention, and we're going to be looking at using movement around the screen and zooming in and out to our advantage. So today, continuing with the Bezier tool and also learning how to use your mouse and your movement around the screen to your full advantage. I had pointed out to you how to download images off of Google and then how to drag them down into Inkscape and use them in your artwork. And I told you that anything off the internet that gets used in your artwork really does not belong to you. So you can't put this image in your final artwork because it's not something that was made by you. You can, however, use the image off the internet in order to create your own artwork. And just like when we were kids and we used to trace things out of magazines, we are going to use this image off of the internet and our Bezier tool in order to trace and make our own Canadian maple leaf for our flag. And this is going to be the basis for most of our artwork in grade 9 and 10. Then by the time we get to grade 11 and 12, we will get better at creating things out of our own brain and not necessarily needing something to copy off the internet. So engage the Bezier tool by left mouse clicking. You can notice it's got a little dark square around it which shows us it's engaged. And now we're going to begin understanding how to use our mouse to its fullest ability. If you go to your mouse and if you roll the roller ball, you'll notice that you know it'll scroll you up and down, right? I can also go over here to these handles and grab them and scroll up and down, or I can grab the handle at the bottom and scroll side to side, but your roller ball will help you scroll up and down. If you hold down the shift button on your keyboard and you use your roller ball, you can scroll side to side. So I'm gonna center this maple leaf by scrolling up and down, holding shift, scrolling side to side. And then if you hold your control button and then you red rollerball, you can zoom in and out. And I'll show you why that's going to become critical. I'm going to zoom way in on this object. I'm going to go grab my Bezier tool. And remember, Bezier is nothing more than a click and create an anchor node, connect the dots tool right? Well, I can do the same thing by tracing over this object. So watch me do it. First, I'm going to select that object I created and hit delete. I'm going to go back and re-engage my Bezier tool. I am now going to Bezier trace my maple leaf. Click once right at the corner, right where those crosshairs are, and you will create an anchor node. And now you are ready to draw in any direction you want. If I want to do a straight line, then just draw straight over, left mouse click and release again, and you'll create a second anchor node. Head up the side of the maple leaf, click and release, and you'll create a third anchor node. Now, when I go around corners, I want to create multiple anchor nodes. So I want to go click and release, click and release, click and release, click and release. When I go around corners, the more anchor nodes I create, the smoother my curve. When I'm dealing with straight lines, I can go all the way across the straight line, then left mouse and click and release and create an anchor node. Now, you may notice that I've zoomed in so far, I've lost the ability to see the rest of my object. That's okay. Pressing and holding the red roller ball on your mouse allows you to drag your image then let go of the red roller ball and you're back in business. Again, pressing and holding the red roller ball on your mouse allows you to drag your image. Releasing the red roller ball puts you right back in business. Left mouse click and release. 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 Click and hold the red roller ball or the roller ball and you can drag your image. Left mouse click and release. Left mouse click and release. Anytime I want to do a curve, 
I want to left mouse click and release, left mouse click and release, left mouse click and release, left mouse click and release multiple times. It will get me around the curve. On average, I want to do every curve somewhere between five and eight anchor notes. Left mouse click and release. Now, when I go to do these corners, I want to zoom in a little bit further. I want to get real close. So now I'm in real close. Left mouse click and release, 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 left mouse click and release. The closer I get to my work and the more nodes I use to create my curves, the better it's going to look. Press and hold on my red roller ball or just a roller ball on some of your mice and you can move. Left mouse click and release, press and hold on your roller ball and you can move. Get to where you want to be, start creating more anchor nodes. Left mouse click and release, 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 left mouse click and release. Push and hold on your red roller ball to move around. Left mouse click and release. Left mouse click and release, 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 left mouse click and release. Push and hold on your roller ball to move. Left mouse click and release. Push and hold on your roller ball to move. Left mouse click and release, 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 left mouse click and release left mouse click and release, left mouse click and release. Look at how nicely it does the curve given the more nodes I use. Now I'm going to stop repeating that left mouse click and release mantra. I think you get it. I'm holding on my red roller ball or my roller ball. I'm left mouse clicking and releasing to create an anchor node. Node, 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 node to get around the corners. I'm pushing and holding on my roller ball to move. Pushing on my roller ball and move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven nodes to create that gentle curve. Straight lines, click, create one node. Yes, your hand will have to get used to this. You're going to get a little crampy. Click, 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 click. Push and hold the roller ball and move your mouse to move around the image. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. Pushing and holding on the roller ball, letting go of the roller ball, pushing and holding on the roller ball, letting go of the roller ball, pushing and holding on the roller ball, letting go of the roller ball, pushing and holding on the roller ball, letting go of the roller ball. And if I start and end my object, making my very last node right on top of my very first node, then Hold control, scroll out. You will see that I have now created my own version of the maple leaf using anchor nodes. And you know what? If you zoom in and if you practice using the movements with the mouse using the roller ball, you will have a really good maple leaf. This is all built by me. Look, when I go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool, there are all the nodes I created. Every time I said click and release, click and release, click and release, those are the nodes that I created. The more nodes I use, the better my curve is going to look. Okay, that's pretty darn good.
Those are all the nodes I created in the corners. Straight lines need fewer nodes, but curves need more. Back to my select tool, go down, right mouse click, set my fill to red, zoom out, grab my maple leaf, the one I made all by myself, stick that in the middle of my Canadian flag. Now you've got a 100% originally built Canadian flag. Select the whole thing again, right mouse click and group. And that's something I can mark. That's something that I can mark, give you 100% of the credit for creating it. It's okay that you went on the internet and got a picture to use as your inspiration. Got a picture to use as your model so that you got it done accurately. That's okay. But your final artwork needs to be all original. And how do I know it's all original? Well, I ungroup your work. I go grab the Edit Path by Nodes tool, and I go in and I specifically look to see all of the nodes you created. Original artwork in a drawing program is actually easier than you think because the drawing program is built to help you be a better artist. Okay, I am not a great artist, but I can use Inkscape in order to create something that looks like a Canadian flag. And remember, when you zoom way in and you do your artwork to a very precise level, yeah, it might look a little jagged zoomed in, but by the time you zoom back out, it's going to look great. Trust me. And practice those mouse movements. Pushing and holding the roller ball on your mouse allows you to drag things around your screen. Holding the control button and red roller balling or roller balling allows you to zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to show you how to make this maple leaf even better in lesson five. But for now, practice the skills that we worked on today. Master those before you move on. I will see you in lesson five.